three, two, one. Hey, what's up guys, it's Matt. Today I am talking about Wild Rose. Yeehaw! Directed by Tom Harper, starring Julie Walters and Jesse Buckley, Wild Rose tells the story of a Glaswegian musician looking to make it big over in Nashville because she's a country singer. Not a country and folk singer. Apparently they're two separate things. Just a country singer. So the movie has actually been marketed as being kind of a drama struggling the journey of Jessie Buckley's character Rose as she tries to become a famous country musician over in America. She has some things to contest with at home though. She's got her two children who uh, absolutely hate her because she's just spent a year in prison and also her unimpressed mother played by Julie Walters who feels that she should probably set aside her dream and focus on raising her kids. It has everything to be kind of like a really compelling, dramatic story. But for me, it just kind of fell a little bit flat. The movie was not what I expected it to be. If you're going into this movie kind of expecting something along the lines of A Star Is Born, you're going to be sorely disappointed. Now, that's not necessarily a bad thing. If it was just kind of like a British remake of A Star Is Born, the film would suck. It's going for something slightly different. Um, I just kind of think it falls a little bit flat on what it's trying to do though. Now, don't get me wrong, the cast in the movie is absolutely incredible. Jessie Buckley as Rose is absolutely brilliant. Um, she does all her own singing. She has an absolutely amazing voice um, and her acting is completely top notch as well. But I think maybe at times she played her character too well. At the beginning, when you're introduced to her, she's kind of a bit of a um, despicable human being is a bit strong of a word, but she's not great. And considering she's the protagonist of the movie, you're not really on her side at all. And she kind of played that sort of just being a bit of a shit so well that by the end of the movie, this journey that she's been on, where obviously she's supposed to sort of grow and change, I didn't feel that she was deserving of the outcome. I thought she was so much of a shit that she didn't deserve the ending that she got. Um, maybe that's just me. Maybe other, other people feel that the, the journey, the character arc that she went on was enough. But for me, it just wasn't there. It kind of started off going in the right direction. But then the film sort of lagged too long around certain parts. And then it kind of, the last half an hour felt very, very rushed. The, the emotional freaking punch to the chest that Rose as a character goes through just was very rushed and it didn't feel right. It didn't feel, it just didn't feel like it was there. And as I said, because she's such a shit in the beginning, I just didn't feel that the the, the character sort of deserved where, where she ended up to be at the end of the movie. Julie Walters, as always, absolutely incredible uh, playing Rose's mum. I mean, what can you say about Julia Walters? She pretty much smashes it in everything that she's in. Is she like, is she classed as a national treasure yet? Because if she isn't, then she definitely should be. I can't really go into too much, I suppose it's like most film reviews, I can't really go into too much detail about spoiling elements of the story for you. Just as I said, for me, there was a, there was a lot of build up for the, I, I just, I didn't believe the payoff at the end. I didn't feel that the character deserved the payoff at the end of it. There were some actions done by some other characters uh, she meets someone along the way who kind of makes it their mission to try and help her achieve her dreams. I, now, there are people like that out in the world. It just kind of felt a bit, a bit random, though. Like, wow, she's looked out. But it was more like, oh, this is convenient for the plot. And it felt that it was convenient for the plot as opposed to, oh, wow, she's looked out here. There we go. As I said, the performances throughout were absolutely amazing. I just felt the story was a bit lacking, definitely rushed. They were spent too much time building up to something and then the ending was completely rushed. Didn't feel that any character deserved to be where they were at the end of it. So I guess in order to give this film a rating, I am gonna give it a six out of 10. As I said, some pretty good solid performances in there. It's just the movie itself wasn't great. Cheers for watching guys, just a quick one today. If you've enjoyed the video, do give it a thumbs up. Do subscribe to the channel. Have you seen Wild Rose? If you have, let me know down in the comments down below. When it's on TV, definitely reckon it's worth checking it out. But you know, I personally wouldn't go to the cinema and pay to see it. Until next time guys, take care.